morning of the 28th of June 1969, the police raided the Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall Inn was in Manhattan, New York, and the riots are widely considered to constitute the most important event leading to the gay liberation movement and modern fight for LGBT rights in the US. During the time, there were very few establishments that welcomed LGBTQ people, and those that did were often bars poorly run. The Stonewall Inn was a bar owned by people who were known to bribe the police to turn a blind eye, but um, despite the bribes, the police still raided the Stonewall Inn many times. The Stonewall Inn riot was un- was unplanned, there was no tip off and was done later than raids usually were. The inn was also known to be popular among drag queens, transgender people and um, more LGBTQ plus minorities. Early in the evening before, two policemen and two policewomen had gone in, t- in undercover to gather visual evidence. There were over 205 people in the bar at the time and one frequenter to the bar, Michael Fader, remembers that it was also fast. Um, The police officers ended up locking themselves in the bar but it was set on fire by the rioters. Finally, um, police reinforcements arrived and they managed to get the police officers out of the bar and the riots continued into July 1st. norm of being straight also known as heterosexual this is where you are attracted to someone who is the opposite gender of you so a male would be attracted to a female for example um this is seen as the norm because people always like to say that in the bible it says adam and eve not adam and steve also apparently in the bible it says that God doesn't like people who aren't straight. Next, there is gay or homosexual. Um, Gay is an umbrella term for a homosexual person. Then there is also lesbian, which is a homosexual woman, which has a completely different flag to um, the... Um, actual gay pride flag which is the gay flag Um, an example of this would be um, homosexual basically means like you love the same gender as you so a man would love say a man and a woman would love a woman Um, that includes like trans women and trans men Um, Then there is also bisexual, and this is seen as either, there are like two common definitions for bisexual, either two gen, like you love both genders, or um, you could love all genders, but with bisexual you would have a preference. Um, So you could be a man and you could like, like, you could love, women men and say non-binary people but you would have like a preference for one of them then there is pansexual which is like like the other definition of bisexual you like all genders but you don't have a preference it can also be seen as being gender blind and falling them more in love with who they are as a person than actually their gender. There is also um, being asexual. Now this means that the person has almost no or actually no sexual attraction at all and um, doesn't get involved in a sexual relationship. That doesn't mean that they can't have a romantic relationship with people. They can also be different like areas on the asexuality spectrum they could end up being demisexual which means that they will do sexual things with their partner after forming a strong romantic connection with their partner similar to this you have a romantic which means that they have little to no romantic attraction like with asexuality they could be demi-romantic where if they form a strong emotional connection with someone they will enter a romantic relationship 
with them. Not everyone who is arom who is asexual is aromantic. They are two completely different types of attraction altogether. First, there is cisgender and this is the social norm of where you identify with the gender your, that you were assigned at birth, so it's your birth sex. So if you were born a male, you are to identify with um, being a male. Um, or, you know, female would identify as a female. Then there is trans gender this is where the person feels extreme dysphoria about their body because they don't identify with their assigned birth sex and will usually go through a gender change getting top surgery and bottom surgery so that they feel like their body fits their assigned their um the gender that they feel they are rather than the gender they were born as. So a male would feel like he was a like they she was a female and a female could feel like he was a male instead of what they were assigned at birth. Then there is gender fluid, which is where someone fluctuates between the genders. So one morning they could wake up feeling male and then one the next morning they wake up and they feel like they're maybe not a gender at all and then they could feel male again and then the next day they could be a woman. So they don't, it just doesn't mean that they are all gen, they, they physical app appearance changes due to gender, it's that they have an assigned female, assigned birth sex, they just don't always identify with it, they're fluid and their gender changes and they will change their appearance and how they look to match the gender they feel on that day. And their pronouns could be they, them, or they could change as their gender changes. Um, the next main one that I want to talk about and the last one is non-binary. This is where they do um, associate themselves with a gender. They could use non-binary as the term for gender fluid if they want. It's kind of an overall for being gender queer. So in that they could be gender fluid, agender, bigender, trigender, any other gender identity but usually it means that they don't asso associate themselves with a gender and they, u they mainly use they them pronouns. They might not though but they mainly do. There are lots of gender identities, these are just the main four that I wanted to talk about and make you aware of. I also wanted to talk about heteronormativity and cisnormativity quickly. Heteronormativity is promoting the fact that um, worldwide being heterosexual is the preferred or normal sexual orientation like thinking everyone is um straight so say two men are a couple and they check into a hotel uh in a heteronormative place they would be given a place with separate single beds because they are assumed to be two men probably on a business trip together um and that just isn't right, you need to be more open with people, they might not be straight. The same thing is with cisnormativity, you assume that everyone um, is cisgendered, the gender they were assigned at birth. I mean with transgender people, it's kind of like they will have the surgery to make them look the gender they are, so it isn't too much of a problem with that, but if they haven't done that themselves yet and haven't started hormones or anything then yeah assuming that um, cisgender isn't right but also with gender fluid and non-binary people and that it would be very common to misgender them and that just isn't right so I just wanted to bring light to them two subjects as well with this documentary. Knowing hetero ever after doesn't have to be the norm The actress Bella Thorne is um, known to be pansexual. Octavia Donata Columbra was a um, 
contestant on X Factor UK and has come out as transgender. Then there is the drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race, Val Valentina. They are non-binary. There is Brandon Yuri, who is um, a singer and part of the band Panic at the Disco, and he has confirmed that he is pansexual. Then there is Ellen DeGeneres, the um, famous person from the sit who played a character called Ellen on a sitcom and um, talk show host, and she is um, very openly gay. Susan, I'm gay. There is Miley Cyrus, who is a singer um, of famous Billy Ray Cyrus, and she is, also, she is bisexual, as is Kesha, another famous singer. From YouTube, there is Dan Howell, who um, came out in a video saying that he was gay. Spoiler alert, I'm not straight sex. There is also Shane Dawson who is bisexual, but um, he said it would have been, he would find it easier to be full gay since he dresses up as women frequently on, um, in his videos, but he is, um, found com he has felt comfortable coming out. I am bisexual. There is also Hannah Hart who is, um, a lesbian and also Ingrid Nielsen who came out in a very emotional video stating that she was also gay. I'm gay. <laughs> it feels so good to say that. <laughs> so good. There is also Lil Nas, um, the rapper who does Old Town Road and he is very openly gay. The newest book slash film, Love Simon, centers around a gay character and um, is a love story between two gay men. No, I'm gay. The new live action Beauty and the Beast film has a gay side character, LeFou. The TV show Glee had lots of representation, including Kurt and Blaine, who were gay. I'm gay. Santana, who was a lesbian. That I am gay. Brittany, who was bi, and Unique and Coach Beast, who were trans. The TV show The Lodge has an openly gay side character who is Josh, and his he is the first um, gay character to come out on a Disney TV show. Similarly, the T the Disney TV show Andy Mac also had a gay character called Cyrus, and he is also. Um, portrayed by a bisexual actor. Um, the TV show um, 13 Reasons Why, popular on Netflix, has um, Tony, who is gay, and Courtney, who is a lesbian, along with other characters who may or may not be on the LGBTQ spectrum. I first started questioning my sexuality when I was 14 in my third year of high school. I had started to develop a crush on one of my close female friends and I was very scared. I confided in one of my openly bisexual female friends and she said that I could be bisexual so I decided to tell the person I liked. Um, she accepted it and a year later um, I came out to my family. I came out to my family a year after I came out to my friends because I didn't know how they would react and I needed time. But I was fine, they accepted me. With my sister, I just walked up to her, told her I was bisexual and walked away. She was very, she was a bit confused, but I didn't see her for five hours, but she, and when I did, her first question was asking if I was dating my best friend. But she accepted me, no questions asked. My parents, I wrote them a note and left it for them and they accepted me. It was no big deal, I don't know why I was so scared. Um, my first girlfriend tried to cheat on me with um, my best friend who was a male and um, that scared me. I didn't have another relationship with a female for another two years at the end of high school going into college but in college we broke up because we weren't going to the same college and it was too far away for us to date. Um, I then started to question whether I was actually bisexual or not because I hadn't really had any feelings for any males recently and I thought I might just be a lesbian which I used the, I used the um, label for a bit but um, I decided 
I then realised that I still truly don't know what my sexual orientation is because I did start to feel a little bit of something for a male. So I have become comfortable using the term, um, the label queer to describe me because I know that I am not 100% straight, I just don't know what it is yet. In the future this might change but um, for now this is what my identity is and will continue to be until I feel like it has changed.